What is going on guys? So today I'm going to be doing a video on how to disavow links inside of your Google Search Console. So what recently happened to me um, is since my last video, which you guys would have saw on Friday, I basically have been affected by negative SEO. So I've been doing a lot of searching, researching on this and I love a challenge anyway. So whatever it is, is it is what it is in that sense. That's the way I like to see it. So I'll just tackle whatever problems come ahead and keep moving forward. Anyway, to explain everything in a nutshell, what's happened is with my website, which many of you may know, with my niche website, basically it was going all well. You know, I've completed like 74 articles and whatever else. And I'm trying to aim for 100 by the end of March. Now, recently I've been noticing you know, that my domain authority has been going down quite a significant amount. So I'm getting a lot of uh, domain authority um, drop, like, you know, it's actually decreasing. So I was a bit worried and thinking, what could it be? So I thought, let me go and check on the search console. So when I checked the search console, I could see that there was a lot of spam links being sent to my site. Now, this looks intentional because, you know, it's spam, like so someone's trying to obviously you know get my rankings down i don't know whether it's someone who has watched my youtube channel when i shared the site at the beginning of the channel or if it's just a competitor who's seen my site on google and they're in the same niche and then they've decided to obviously try and get me decreased in the rankings now so far i haven't really seen a difference in my rankings itself or my traffic so much but I have seen a negative effect on my domain authority. And to put things into perspective, my domain authority has gone all the way from um, a number of 10 to a number of one. So it's gone all the way to the beginning. So I started researching and what I also found was that Moz have actually updated their the uh, strategy of how they actually rank websites domain authority recently. So... I'm not sure if it's so much that or if it's the spam links, but, you know, I did notice there was some spam links being sent to my site. And so I wanted to basically disavow those links. Now, what was difficult is when I was trying to do it, I could see all of these different people doing it with third party tools like Ahrefs and SEM Rush and all of these tools. But I don't use that, as many of you know. So I was thinking, how can I do it directly through Google Webmasters? And that's what I managed to actually uh, acquire online. So I managed to find that through a mixture of reading blogs and, and a couple of YouTube videos. So anyway, so I'm going to explain it in this video exactly how you can do it. So if you are, you know, experiencing this same problem and you're trying to fix it, then make sure you watch this whole video because I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it today and anytime in the future as well. OK, so we're going to get straight into it. So if you're on a Mac you're going to open um, the uh, TX text edit. So that's in applications and you'll find this text edit notepad. And if you're on a normal desktop uh, on a Microsoft computer, then you'll be able to just open notepad. OK, so notepad will do the same thing. Now, the reason why you want to use this is because it's able, it allows you to save uh, files in TXT, which is what we need in order to upload it to the disavow tool. Now, what's interesting about the disavow tool on Google Webmasters is that you don't actually use it through Google Webmasters. So you have to type it in manually. So what we're doing here is what you would need to do. So you're going to just type disavow tool Google. OK, now, once you come to here, you're going to see this first link and then you're going to see this. Now, this is an explanation guide. This will basically run you through to explain how to use the tool. So it will say, you know, decide if it's necessary create a list of um, domains or, you know, URLs that you would like to disavow. OK, so this is how the context of how we will enter it into the tool. So this is like the example. So we'll take that there. OK, and then, um, you know, you could disavow specific URLs or you could disavow a whole domain. So this is a domain and then this is pages. OK, so if you wanted to disavow a page, this is how you'd have to put it in. And then if you wanted to disavow a domain this is how you'd have to put it in so this is giving you an example of what you would do okay so based on that this will then tell you obviously how to upload it and whatever else so you can read that if you'd like but what we need is this here so this will bring it up now from this drop down i'm just gonna have to blur this 
um, you will be able to see the websites that you're you know you would want to select to disavow the links on okay so this is basically going to block any external links coming into your site that you do not want coming to your site okay so if we look at this i'm going to select this website right here and then click disavow links okay so then you're brought to this um page here now the next thing we're going to do is set up our actual domains that we'd like to block so for example if you were in search console and you could see all of the actual you know websites that were coming in that were spam you would basically uh, get the URL and that's what we would use. So to put things into perspective, we're just going to press um, control, sorry, command V to, to get an example. So th this is like what we would fill it. So example.com. Now you're not allowed to in enter any forward slash or any HTTPS inside of this. So it just has to be as it was just now, which is just the website, you know, name and then dot com. Like, and that's it. No W dot w dot or whatever none of that yeah okay because if you do it it will say unsuccessful okay and then basically what we're going to do is if we were trying to block say for example you know best uh, uh fitness or something i don't know best fitness let's just say this was a site that was spamming us or something like that you would just grab this bit and that's it but you will have all of this data inside of your search console now, if you don't know how to find that information in your search console, then you just basically go to your search console, you click links inside of the left hand side on the new tool. And then inside of the links uh, section, you'll find uh, external links. Yeah. And that will be all the links that are linking to you. And then you just find what ones are spam and copy them in here. OK, sorry, I went to the wrong notepad there. So what we're going to do next is just we would press command V and that's it. So then you would just do the next line and say we wanted to block another site. So just say google.com or something. I don't know. We're just, let's not use that actually because it could um, cause some type of problem. So um, I don't know, like this, for example, this is my banking site. Okay. So just say this, like we wanted to block this. You would basically type domain again, domain semicolon and then command V. OK, so this is like two domains that we would block. So what you're going to have to do on a Mac is a slight bit different. So if you were on a Microsoft computer, you'd be able to just save this as a TXT. But on a Mac, it saves it in rich text format. So what we're going to have to do, first of all, is come up to format up here and then click make plain text. OK, then click OK. Once we've done that, it's now in plain text. We're then going to go to file, save. And then we're going to save it into uh, plain text now. OK, so this is a text document. OK, U, uh, UTF-8 is fine. And if no extension is provided, use TXT. Yep, that's exactly what we're looking for. Desktop and then save. OK, so we're just going to double check that. You can see it says TXT on there. OK, and we can just double check it. So if we click get info okay brilliant yep so that's a plain text document txt yep so that's exactly what we're looking for so the next thing we're going to do now is go over to this tool and we're just basically going to click disavow links then when it says choose file the file we're going to choose is the the file that we just saved which is this one here and then we're going to click submit okay now when you do this it will either give you a successful message or it will give you a you know uh, unsuccessful okay so you can see it says you successfully um, uploaded this disavow links for um, spam blog name here containing two domains and zero URLs so if you wanted to enter the URLs again it would have to be in that format exactly like that inside of the uh, txt file okay and for the actual uh, domain it would have to be exactly like this so you have to put domain and then the actual domain.com okay and and or dot whatever it is and that's exactly how it works now in future if you basically wanted to edit this and add more domains to it then what you would actually do is basically come into this download the file so you'd click download and then you would edit the file resave it in txt again 
and then up re-upload it and do the same thing so it will then have the ones that you had existing plus whatever you add on to the list and that should disavow all of these links so that will basically stop google's search engine from crawling the those links like going to your site and it will stop the links from coming in yeah so that's I ideal that's what i would you know recommend if you are receiving any you know unwanted or spam links and that's how you can fix it but i hope this video helps just a quick one and if you've got any questions then make sure to leave it in the comment section below peace